Welcome back to the Limitless Human Design Podcast, where we're talking about all things alignment, embodiment, and success as a human design projector. From knowing your own skills, gifts, and purpose, to marketing your business as a projector, this podcast is everything that you'll want to know in order to truly be seen, heard, and recognized as the beautiful genius that you are. I'm your host, Lilith Elena. I'm a 4'6 self-projected projector and a human design and business coach. In this podcast, we're breaking free from the norms of society to create wealth in a whole new and relaxed way so we can become the most aligned, most successful versions of ourselves. Let's dive in. Hello, hello. Welcome back. I keep wanting to say I'm so excited for this episode. And I am because I saw this question on Facebook groups and it really just sparked something inside of me. And I know that that sounds like a very generator um, response statement, but I'm really excited to bring a projector aspect to this. And it's how to be proactive as a projector. The reason that most projectors are upset when they find out that they are a projector is because we are such efficient people that we don't like waiting. (laughs) It's totally contradictory, or it seems as though it is, but it's really not. And it's actually a way for us to stop pushing ourselves and stop burning ourselves out over things (laughs) that we don't need to. So being proactive isn't a limitation for anyone. Being a projector isn't a limitation for anyone. All we need to do is figure out how to be proactive as a projector. And that's exactly what this episode is about. So being proactive, let's let's talk about really what proactive is. So being proactive is setting yourself up for something that you anticipate is going to happen or something that you know that you want to do or something that you want to do and you're just already going for it. Being proactive is getting yourself prepared. Projectors do this all the time. It is aligned for you as a projector to be proactive in your life. And really, it's more so about how can you be proactive about what you know that you need to do. For instance, this can be um, preparing yourself for a weekend with family, or it could be preparing yourself to go to work the next day, or anything else that has something to do with you being just kind of out in the world, out and about with your energy around other people. This could be through like indirect through I mean even this podcast or you know if you're putting yourself on Instagram if you're doing something in business you can be proactive about it and then even just being with other people and getting to know other people going places anywhere that you are doing something you can be proactive about it because you as a projector you know what the most efficient fastest quickest way to do something is and that is a gift That is a true gift. That's one of the biggest gifts of being a projector, which is super awesome because we don't like to waste our energy. This is why we're so efficient. It's amazing. And I mean, just a little ego boost for all my amazing projectors that are listening. So being proactive is really just setting yourself up for success. And of course we want to do this. Now let's talk about being productive. This is a other a t- totally different topic, but it usually comes up with being proactive because of the fact that productivity is one of the biggest conditioning aspects that we have that seems like nobody is talking about it. Productivity <laughs> is really a way for society to get you to do more stuff and stop caring about your own energy. You can be productive and still be balanced, and you don't have to do toxic productivity at the same time. Toxic productivity is making yourself be productive every second of every day. It's when you get down on yourself and you shame yourself, you guilt yourself about resting. It's when you 
completely just berate yourself because you're sitting down or you're taking a nap or you're doing something that has nothing to do with anything else. Or even if you're just sitting there and thinking, there's a lot of projectors that really just like to sit there and think, I'm one of them. <laughs> I know what that feels like. You're still being productive when you are in these states. When you are resting, you are still being productive because you're, again, you, this is being proactive. When you rest, you are preparing your energy to do something else in the future. You're recharging your own battery so that you have more energy to go forth and do what you were meant to do. So being productive is, again, tied into proactive. But being productive doesn't mean doing something every single second of the day. And I want you to start seeing yourself as actually doing things that are productive, even when society says they're not. A nap is productive especially for projectors. Taking rest, relaxing, meditating, taking a bath, doing self-care things and things that really just allow your energy to recharge. These are all things that are productive for projectors and they are proactive because they're preparing you for the next things that you're gonna do. And I always like to say as well, there are definite times when the universe will help you take that rest even if you don't want to. These are going to be the days where it seems like nothing is going right because you're trying to do other things than rest. These are going to be when you're spending all of your time focusing on something that is just draining and exhausting you. Yet, the universe is telling you to take a rest because you're probably going to need that energy tomorrow. You know, you never know when you're going to need more energy. So as a projector, it is so important that you're allowing yourself to take as much rest as you feel you need. Even more, actually, especially more when you're first getting into human design and when you first realize that you're a projector. Because most likely, you're burned out. You're exhausted. You are drained from being a generator for so long, for trying to be a generator for so long. So I want you to write down like five things, five things that you enjoy that are considered rest for you. For me, this looks like sitting on the couch and watching TV. It looks like stretching and meditation. It looks like taking a bath or enjoying a cup of coffee. No matter what your things are, Write down five things, and when you start feeling frustrated, bitter, whatever it is, do one of these things. Reset your energy. Release the energy that is not yours and get into rest. So let's get into how, how to be more proactive as a projector as well. So being proactive as a projector seems, again, seems like it's contradictory to waiting. It seems like it's contradicting, waiting for the invitation, but it's really not. When you wait for the invitation from somebody else, your energy is saving you from expending energy that you don't need to. Because you don't have a ton of energy to spare, you're, on, you're running on borrowed energy. You're running on the energy of the grid that is around you, of the people that are around you. So when you're waiting for an invitation to do something, you can still be proactive on how you want to be invited. This looks like preparing yourself by studying your craft. You can study anything that you want to. A lot of projectors are lost about what their purpose is. Your purpose is to find something that interests you or multiple things that interest you and study them get really, really good. So that when the right person comes along and sees, oh my God, you're amazing at this. I need your help. You are right there, ready to go. That is being productive and proactive as a projector. Preparing yourself for the invitations, preparing yourself for the correct invitations. So what else can you do while you're waiting for this invitation and you want to be more proactive. Again, study your interests. 
do the things that really help your own energy, your own body, start eating better, start moving more, doing things that help your health, fitness, wellness, mental health, emotional health, get yourself to a place where you feel really good about yourself and really good about what you do and who you are. Doing this will help your energy become a magnet. And I think it was Catherine Zankina that used the um, metaphor of a magnet, not necessarily about projectors, but I'm going to use it as projectors. So we are magnetic people. We have a magnetic monopole. It's a whole different topic, but we have a magnetic monopole and projectors especially have a very magnetic energy, their aura. It's just enveloping, well, more focused, but it brings people to us like a moth to a flame, pretty much, when we are not trying to do anything specific, when we're not trying to go out and bring people in. Again, it's more inward focused because we don't want to completely go off somebody else's boundaries and invade their space with our aura. Instead, we want to focus on holding our energy back so that when people go around us or when people see us, when people come in contact with our energy, wherever it is, it can be on the internet, it can be in person, it can be, you know, through somebody else even. But we want to keep it focused so that way we are not automatically penetrating, we are just here. We are here, we are seen, and we are allowing ourselves to be seen. So that when the person recognizes who we are, what we do, and they enjoy that, and they want more of that, then they ask us. So in this sense, let's say you have a business, or let's say you want to make some new friends. We'll use these two. If you have a business, one of the ways that you can be proactive as a projector is to set up your own lighthouses. The projector is commonly called the lighthouse. So where are you setting up your lighthouses? Which platforms are you going to be on? Where do you want people to find you? And how do you want them to view you? These are the things that they need to know so they can choose whether or not to let your energy in. And the same thing with making new friends. You will be going out and doing things that are community and guiding and It's where you are available to be seen so that when the right people see you, they will want to be around you. They will want to know more. They will want to just kind of learn who you are. But it's really where do you want to set yourself up and how do you want to be seen? How do you want people to come to you? What do you want them to come to you about? These are the things that you need to focus on at first so that way you know where to go and what to do from there. That is how you be proactive as a projector. And you can use this in pretty much anything. I mean, even when you're applying to jobs as a projector, you're creating your resume first. So again, how do you want people to see you? What do you want them to know about you? And this is just a off topic thing, but I just had a thought about it. When you're a projector and you're looking for a job, when you find a job posting, that's an open invitation for you to apply. If you want to apply, and if there's an open invitation to apply, you can apply. You don't need to be specifically invited because it's already an open invitation. The further invitation, the more direct invitation will come from getting an interview. And if you get an interview, then you have been even more directly invited to be in that job. So I hope that makes sense. But one of the biggest things, and this is probably like the most important thing for projectors to really understand. Success comes to you. It's not something you go out and get. For projectors, you are not meant to go out and get things. Most, almost every other um, type is not meant to go out and get things. That's a manifester. And even then, they're waiting for their own creative inspiration. As a projector, 
you are letting success come to you. And again, this is how do you want it to come to you? What does success mean to you? What does it come through? Like, look at all of the different areas of how you want to be successful and what you want success to mean to you. When you have a clearer picture of what this means to you and what what it really means for you, it's able to find you. All you need to do is be findable. (laughs) Allow yourself to be seen. Allow yourself to be heard. Because through allowing this, this means that you recognize yourself. When you finally start putting yourself out there, when you finally start keeping more to yourself and just allowing things to come to you, things will come to you. It's just cultivating the trust that they will. So being proactive as a projector is figuring out what you want to do, how you want to be seen, how you want people to come to you, where you want to be, all of these different things, and allow it to come to you through whatever it needs to, whether or not that's a person that you're talking to or, you know, friends and family, whatever it is, but allow it to come to you naturally. And that is how you are going to find your success. So I hope this made sense. Let me know and I'll see you next week.